Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the features or the functions of an energy management system and what is the purpose of an energy management system and actually what it does. It is very important in an electric vehicle or in the case of an hybrid electric vehicle. Now let us try to discuss all this in detail. So before going to the discuss, let us try to see what is the block diagram of this energy management system. So at the center is nothing but this is the heart. So the heart is energy management system and it is connected to the vehicle diagnosis. Okay. So how it is connected? Okay. Vehicle diagnosis. So what is the speed of the vehicle? or what is the acceleration of the vehicle or the brake so it can easily diagnose the vehicle and it is energy management system is connected to the one more block where this is called instrumental panel so this is instrumental panel is nothing but like an uh, tab you have a big screen where you can see all the operations so energy management system will send a signal to the instrumentation panel and this is also connected to the vehicle controls where this vehicle controls are nothing but uh, two first one is acceleration and next one is a uh, brake so when you accelerate it so this is nothing but the acceleration what you the throttle what you apply and next one is if you can apply the brake so acceleration or the brake we are going to apply to the vehicle where the vehicle gets controlled and this how it is connected to the energy management system here the flow of control signal is bidirectional and this energy management system is also connected to our wheel DC motor or an permanent magnet synchronous motor or it may be permanent magnet synchronous motor or it may be connected to an induction motor three phase induction motor also so this motor is be directly connected to the motor controller so this motor controller will controller will supply required voltage and current to the motor okay so automatic motor accelerate motor controller is there and this motor controller will send data to the energy management system what about its voltage current rating and this motor controller is connected to the contractors also ok so here also the data flow will be in this fashion and ultimately these contractors are connected to the battery pack which is nothing but a battery this is connected to the battery pack and here the contractors are connected to the battery pack and here you are going to have the battery charger so why because the battery charger is to charge the battery so here you are going to have the battery charger so the input is AC output is an DC and this DC is directly connected to the battery pack okay so to this energy management system one more input and output which are nothing but sensors so you have multiple sensors inside of the vehicle or outside of the vehicle which will for the transfer of data and we can use a temperature sensor humidity sensor and uh, outside temperature sensor and external climate temperature sensor you can see here that's why ems is called as uh, the brain so ems is called as the brain of the energy management system it monitors and control all the functions it controls the vehicle diagnosis it can it can see what is the acceleration given by the customer what is the brake given by the customer what are the vehicle controllers available what is the instrumentation panel what it has to show so this instrumentation panel it will display the state of charge of the battery depth of discharge of the battery the voltage level of the battery the life cycles of the battery and it can discharge what kind of charging is performed and what kind of a mode of operation the electric vehicle is running okay so what is the type of mode of operation the ev is uh, running and it's connected to multiple sensors it is connected to the battery pack through contractor so 
this motor controller is connected to the motor this motor may be a BLDC motor permanent magnet synchronous motor in the upcoming video uh, we will see here what are the features of this energy management system so coming now here so this is the block diagram of an energy management system so let's try to discuss uh, each point one by one and what this uh, ems generally do for us okay so when you come to the what actually it uh, performs uh, this so we can call by seeing all this diagram we can call the ems is the brain of an this is a brain of an electric it monitors and control the complete system. EMS is a computer based system that optimizes the charger. So this is an like a microprocessor which is nothing but like an a computer based system. So this is a using a microprocessor or microcontroller. This is a computer based system it uses for best performance It's called optimized charging. So when to charge how much time to charge so that charging is taken care by this energy management system and it optimizes the charger and energy output of the battery so it can take a decision how much energy it has to be produced <coughs> that can be taken care by the charger okay so the importance of this energy management system or what it is going to do is uh, the energy management system is going to increase the EV range so the range of an EV can be enhanced when you use an energy management system to a percentage of 15 to 10 percentage and next what is going to does is so EV I mean energy management system can increase the EV battery life so the life of the battery can be increased from 25 to 30 percentage you can increase the life of the battery nothing but that is done by energy management system the energy management system also predict the available range okay so for example if the state of charge of battery is 50 percentage so if the state of charge is uh, state of charge of the battery is 50 percentage with this available range how many kilometers it can be driven for example it is divided for 120 it will indicate that with the available 50 percentage it can run up to 60 kilometers so with this is called as a range protection okay so range prediction so with the available state of charge so that will be indicated in the screen already I told we have an instrumentation screen which will show the range how much it can be traveled for the available battery percentage yeah? that is taken care by the instrumentation panel to display this so this can perform range prediction also and this energy management system also maintains an electronic log of vehicle performance so how many times i mean this also maintains an electronic log of vehicle performance which includes the diagnosis checking and monitors the life cycle of batteries how many times the battery has been charged and how many times the battery has been discharged so all the data and what is the state of charge of the battery what is the amount it has been undergone deep discharge so all this vehicle performance will be stored in an electronic log book okay there is an electronic chip which is called electronic log all the complete data so when you have all this this is easy for the serviceman to do the service okay so the service person can easily do the service if you have the complete information of the vehicle so that is also taken care by so this is especially taken care by energy management system and coming to the next one this energy management system can maximize utilization of a battery for example a battery is there okay so with the available battery of 100 percentage of charger this energy management system it optimize the utilization of onboard energy battery to an intelligent battery system need to be adapted okay so if you have an energy management system the battery can be best optimized and this will help to give better mileage that's what that's, that's the first point is also the same uh, by using this energy management system the life cycle of the battery is also enhanced as well as range is also enhanced that's what it is going to do with the battery 
this energy management system make use of multiple sensors and it make use of various sub system including uh, the sensors may be of uh, temperature sensors this temperature may be input temperature or it may be the outside temperature and the it may use voltage sensor or it may use a current sensor and it may try to measure the current discharge current of the battery and discharge voltage of the battery and complete information of the battery that can be sensed with the help of uh, sensors multiple sensors temperature sensors and specific gravity sensors all the sensors will take care about uh, the life of the battery so that's what it is going to take care and we have a sensors uh, to measure the voltage and current drawn by the motor also so this is the overall view of an energy management system so when you see this diagram you can understand it's like a brain of an ev it has some computer based system it optimizes the best charging to give the best energy output and energy management system increase the range by 15 percentage increases the life by 30 percentage and it can show the available amount of charging how many kilometers it can be driven and this has an electronic log of a complete data of the electric vehicle which will provide the service person to do an proper service and this energy management system will handle all the properties i mean all with the help of all multiple sensors to measure voltage current state of charge of the battery depth of discharge of the battery voltage rating of the battery all the parameters are measured with the help of an sensors where the sensors are you can see here this diagram okay so when you see this diagram you can understand how the sensors are connected to our ems okay you can see here the sensors so temperature sensors voltage sensor current sensor all are connected to the battery management system and it will display what is the range it can move for the well available so vehicle controller how you accelerate the vehicle and how much current has to be supplied to the motor that is taken care by the motor controller and this battery bank uh, this battery bank is connected to the contractor with the help of uh, voltage sensor current sensor and temperature sensor so complete information uh, it's like a hot so it's like a motherboard which has complete information of the electric vehicle that's why energy management system plays a crucial role in an electric vehicle hope the video is uh, useful to you and in the upcoming video we'll try to see we have around 20 features of this uh, electric i mean energy management system slowly we'll discuss uh, one by one hope if the video is uh, useful to you please give one valuable like and please uh, share with your friends and if you have any doubts you can ask your doubt in comment session and please subscribe to the channel and this is like a free channel it's not a commercial channel this is a free channel for the students so please encourage it to make it to move forward to multiple people which will help us to do more useful videos to the students so thank you for your watching we'll meet with the next video of features of an energy management system so that is all about today of energy management systems used in electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles.